Hello and welcome to Talking Route 66. Today we're going to visit with Jeremy Morris at Boots Courts Motel and Visitor Center in Carthage, Missouri. Talking Route 66. Here's your host, Tim Clark. Jeremy, tell us just a little bit about the Visitor Center. Yes, uh, my name is Jeremy Morris. I'm the manager of the Boots Court Motel and Visitor Center. So uh, we recently got all 13 rooms of the motel renovated. And so the next phase was to renovate this old Sinclair gas station and make it our office, gift shop, and visitor center. So I'm going to give you a little tour of the visitor center. Uh, we sell a lot of uh, Boots-related merchandise. We have Roosty 6 memorabilia. It's also our check-in station for the motel. So okay, so that. That's changed then since I've been there. So the check-in right. for the motel is now at the visitor center. That's right. So the motel uh, office used to be up front at the Boots Motel location itself. We kind of outgrew that and we decided we need to sell more uh, merchandise and just uh, use this space too. And so we renovated this old Sinclair gas station, which is a nice mid-century building on the property. And uh, now we're using it as our gift shop and uh, office space and event center. So we're actually holding events here. We started a series of... Uh, uh, events uh, showcasing local authors and local artists called Books and Boots. And so we offer um, hand, hand uh, with autographed books and different items from local authors. So this has become more than just a visitor center, it's become a, a gift shop and um, uh, event center too. Well, now that's great. Now, what are the hours and days of operation for the visitor yes. center? So we just switched to our summer hours, which are 10 to 8. Monday through Saturday, and then Sunday, uh, three to eight. Okay. And then what about in the off season, like the winter months? In the off season, winter months, we usually switch to 10 to six, and then we still have a late check-in for the motel from six to eight. And if a person wants more information, how can they find you on social media or phone calls or email? Yes. Look for The Boots Court on Facebook and Instagram, and then look for Boots Court 66 at dot com bootscourt66.com uh, and that's our website which will give you a little history of the boots a little context of a um, <laughs> what we're doing the, the, the new events uh, and our pricing and that sort of thing great now can you share some other shots as well maybe some exterior or maybe some of the motel so tim we're standing in front of the boots court motel here uh built in 1939 at the crossroads of america that's where the Jefferson Highway meets Route 66. Jefferson Highway, if you don't know, is an actually older road than uh, Route 66 uh, before they even had numbering systems. This was the uh, Pine to Palm Highway. It took you from Canada to New Orleans. And uh, we're actually one of only two Jefferson Highway visitor centers on the entire route. And of course, about 90% of our traffic is Route 66. And uh, I'm gonna spin around here and show you the office. The office is original to the property. It was the first thing built. It was the Red Horse Service Station. Arthur Boots had a gas station here. I believe it was a Phillips 66. In fact, you can still see the pumps, or at least the outline of the pumps, in the concrete. In 1939, he's inspired by his brother Lloyd and decides to add eight additional rooms to the property so people can stay. And I'll walk you through this. So this is called Streamline Modern Design, which is very much uh, similar to Art Deco. And the cool thing about this design is you can pull your car right inside the historic carport, right directly next to your room. Hey, I got to stop there a second, Jeremy. I sure. want to ask you something. On the carport, cars were much, much narrower back in the 30s and even in the 40s. So can you park a current car, car in there? So we still offer uh, the parking for our guests. Uh, of course, uh, some of the new SUVs and some of the modern vehicles can't fit in this space, which was designed for 1940s era cars. So we do have ample parking on the side here for cars that can't quite make it. So it does make kind of like a nice patio area for gatherings as well. Correct. And so that's a big thing with our guests, too. Most of them want to sit outside. They want to meet the other guests. Part of a Roosty Six trip is that it's this linear trip where you kind of see the same people along the way. So we had... For instance, the guest last night from three different countries and several different states, and they all kind of wanted to see each other, and they keep seeing each other at each stop. And so we definitely uh, have common spaces where people can sit and enjoy each other. That's really cool. I like that. So these are the single rooms. And then in 1946, the Neely family purchased the boots, and they created the back building, which has uh, space for double beds and larger families. 
Great. Now, I understand a celebrity had stayed in one of the rooms. Absolutely. So Clark Gable comes here in 1942 and stays in room six. He liked the boots so much that he actually came back in 47 to stay in room 10. And in fact, it's being cleaned right now. So uh, we'll mind that. But uh, this desk right here, he actually signed autographs. And so we have documented proof that he was here. And he signed autographs for some of the local fans. He was visiting a friend that day. Oh, well, that's and really keep, cool. I like that. And we keep, yes, and we keep the uh, rooms as period and as original as possible. Uh, we still offer a radio in every room. That's part of our part of our um, advertising, uh, as you can see. A radio in every room. One interesting feature of this room is these uh, short shower heads, which some people at first say, "Well, that's unusually short," but uh, in fact, that is not a uh, bug. That's a feature. Arthur Boots designed those with 1940s women's hairstyles in mind and women's hairstyles needed to set and not get wet. So hence from the neck down. I've never heard of that before. So that's cool. I like that. <laughs> All right. Well, Jeremy, is there anything else that you'd like to share with us about Boots Courts Motel? Yes. Yeah, so keep track of our social media pages because we have a lot going in the next uh, few months, actually. Um, phase one was getting all 13 rooms of the motel up and running. Phase two was the visitor center, making sure it's fully restored. And then phase three is the fun stuff. So we're getting into the green spaces now. We're getting into uh, connecting the two buildings with lanes and the artwork. So if you're on Rusty Six, you gotta have some big visuals, right? So one thing we're working on right now is repairing the Lowell Davis car and billboard. We actually have his daughter, April Davis. She's gonna be restoring that. And we're going to be moving it to a mound, which uh, we're going to wall off. And it's going to be a really nice uh, uh, visual art project. We're also working on getting a neon sign for the awning of the visitor center. And in fact, I'll show you across the street. I don't know if you're aware of this, but in 1946, Arthur Boots actually went across the street and built the uh, Boots Drive-In. So the Boots Drive-In was a 24-hour breakfast and diner. And they did a radio show there called Breakfast from the Crossroads. It was KDMO hosted by Lee Crocker. Well, we didn't know where that neon sign is, but I learned from uh, Reese Martin, actually, uh, Oklahoma Bruce Six president, who writes uh, books on lost, lost restaurants of Tulsa. He said Bob Boots actually went to Tulsa and started a chain. So uh, we found the sign from the original Boots driving in Tulsa in Shoto, Oklahoma. So we're working on getting that to restore it and hopefully putting that on top of this building here. But the thing we're immediately working on, and this will be exciting for you to see and your viewers, we're working currently on a 28 foot mural here. Oh, sweet. So doesn't look like much now. We've just kind of got the background painted in, but we've got two local artists that are known for uh, their murals, Alexandra Burnside and Cheryl Church. And Cheryl Church is a uh, uh, pretty much both of these girls are known on the known on the route. They're roadies. They're they're dyed in the wool roadies. So we got the right crew here. But uh, basically, we're going to have a three different sections. We're going to have a Coca Cola uh, logo, historic logo, which parallels one that used to be across the street actually. And uh, Coca Cola is actually helping out with the mural itself. And then we have uh, Clark Gable space that's going by the radio in every room sign. And then we're going to have a Sinclair logo over here because I'm standing beside what used to be a Sinclair gas station. And then, of course, we're going to have the JH uh, logo, the Pine to Palm logo, and the Roosty Six Shield, of course. That's the most exciting project we're working on at the moment. That sounds really exciting because that can become a photo op along Route 66. Correct. Yes, this will be uh, one of our main uh, visuals to stop for. People already stop daily and take pictures of the front of the motel and, of course, our classic neon sign and the radio in every room sign. This is going to be one more piece of the puzzle. Uh, some great artwork by some local artists. Uh, and stay tuned. That should be done just in a few weeks, I'm thinking, and we'll unveil it on our website and our Facebook pages. Great. All right. Jeremy, I know you got a lot of guests to take care of, and I appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to visit with us. And so the next sure. time you're going through Carthage, Missouri, make sure you stop at Boots Courts Motel and Visitor Center. Thank you so much. Thanks, Tim. I appreciate it. Well, thank you, Jeremy. And thank you for watching Talking Route 66.
Thank you for watching. Until next time, keep getting your kicks on Route 66.